What's that? It's time for Budget Pew News. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Ali Babble. When was the last time I did an Ali Babble? <laughs> this week's. The, the last and only time I did one of these was two weeks ago. I'm going to try and make this a weekly thing. How many times have we heard that on this channel? So, Anision updates, J Station drama, Logan Paul, bid spat on. A whole lot of stuff has been happening with Anision. He went to court and served the wrong Chris Hansen and the entire case against Chris Hansen and Repsion got dismissed because of course it was going to get thrown out. <coughs> says he's dismissed it himself but I'm not sure how any of it works I'm not a lawyer but I think it's the judge who threw it out I could be wrong what a fantastic news show I am I'm not sure I could be wrong do your own research but either way Anishan served the wrong Chris Hansen and he went to court looking like this I just I just don't know what is Anision? What are you? You have to have a very high IQ to understand what Anision is. So he showed up at court wearing a bulletproof vest underneath you know, his suit. And on one hand, how incredibly arrogant of him to think that he would be worth someone going to jail for if he got shot at. But on the other hand, America. So, eh? I don't know what to think about it, really. Also, people have been making fun of Anision's height in the picture with him and Repsion. He seems to be a lot shorter than Repsion. And Anision says that he's five foot eleven and three quarters or whatever the hell he wants to say today. And it's not a problem if he's actually five foot seven or five foot eight. It's not a problem at all. It's just the fact that he might be lying about his height. That's what's laughable. But his actual height himself, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being five foot seven. If Anision's five foot seven, I am literally taller than him. But again, there's nothing wrong with it. Just don't lie about it, silly. So after the shit show at court, Anision went home and Billy, Billy the Fridge, drove to Anision's house and got an impromptu interview. Though some are speculating that it was staged. It was very awkward. There was a part where Anision humped Billy because of, of course he did. Now people have been saying that what Billy did was disrespectful to the victims of Anision because he didn't give him any hard questions. Anision danced and manipulated the topic as he does. I also did see some people saying that Billy should have hit Anision and this is just silly. It, like that's a very silly thing to be annoyed about that Billy didn't punch Anision, why, why are we even discussing this? Listen, children, if Billy punches Anision on his own property, Jimmy James Jackson, whatever the hell his name is today, Jim Bob would call the police, Billy would go to jail, and it just sets everything back, doesn't it? And Anision loves having a whole victim mentality about anything that goes wrong in his life. So how many like pity party points do you reckon Gregory would acquire if he got assaulted at his own property? think. If there is a case going forward with the victims, it doesn't really help if Anision starts getting assaulted by people. Come on. Be reasonable. There are plenty of things to criticise, but Billy not decking Anision ain't one of them. Anyway, since Billy went to Anision's house, there's been a lot of infighting and drama, which really just detracts from the whole issue and doesn't help. Can we keep all of that aside for a few weeks whilst we focus on Jim Bob? the grease himself. One thing at a time, people. One thing at a time. That is not me saying it was right or wrong for Billy to go and interview Greg. All I'm saying is, let's not shift the attention from where it's meant to be. And speaking of which, in the past 24 hours, Anishiong has done a series of more and more erratic videos about detailing his side of the story. He did a lot of them. I managed to get up to about part 11 and then I fell asleep. Not much value was said, it was just Anision trying to be the victim for what two to three hours straight. I can't believe I sat through two to three hours worth of Anision just 
behind an ad blocker, don't worry. Talking nonsense, it was, it was a lot. So I've had to take a break from that. He actually did say in one of the videos that Kai didn't want Anishan to talk about the drama, but that's not what Anishan does. So he was holding off for the sake of Kai, but since he decided to do all those video, all those uploads, Kai um, said they were gonna leave Greg. Of course, with the greases, that could all just be lies. Again, it could be Anision doing the whole like sympathy vote thing as he does every fucking time, because nothing's ever his fault. He is the eternal victim. Everyone is just always out to get Gregory. He has the worst luck, the worst misfortune of any human I've ever seen. It's really, really tragic. Shakespearean levels of tragedy, in fact. Moving on to our next topic, J Station faked his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend's death and then contacted her through an Ouija board. Now you see I'm smirking and it's not because I think J Station's funny, I think J Station is extremely exploitative and awful, but it's just the, the mind, the mental gymnastics for him to think of doing that. It's incredible. So from what I've gathered, his girlfriend broke up with him. So he faked in a video that his girlfriend died in a drink driving accident, like a drink driver, a drunk driver crashed into her and killed her. So he tried to contact her for an Ouija board. And then he said towards the end of the video that his girlfriend's wish, only wish in life was for his second channel to get to a certain amount of subscribers. How many levels of mental do you have to be to think of doing stuff like this? For those that don't know, J Station is a channel where the audience are primarily little children, where he does things like trying to speak, trying to exploit the deaths of celebrities and speak to them at 3 a.m. like on the phone or with an Ouija board. It's galaxy brain level stuff going on here. I'm not smart enough to understand it. Whenever he sees that a celebrity has died and it's trending in the news, he just must see like money signs, you know? People have been calling for J Station to lose his channel because it's exploitative. I've said that three times already. It's gross. It's deceiving. Remember, his audience is primarily children who might possibly believe that he can actually contact people at 3 a.m. Super spooky, using an Ouija board. When I was a child, I gen... <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this out loud on the internet where it's gonna be here forever. When I was a child, I genuinely believed that I was a werewolf for a short period of time. So children believe a lot of stuff, is my point. But YouTube are yet to do anything because it's YouTube, they don't care. They don't care as long as they can make some sweet money from it. Next up, Logan Paul. I feel like a proper news presenter. <laughs> I feel like I'm on Channel 4 News. I'm Jon Snow, I hit the big time. Logan Paul got spat on by some rude girl. That's the nicest word I'm gonna use for it. Oh God! Hi. <laughs> Fuck no! That's not cool. Not about. cool, dude. I don't think that's the life of us. I'm sorry. Not really. Okay. No. I, well, listen, I got nothing but love for you. Okay. Thank you. Nothing but love. I don't really respect you that much. All good. I, I've got nothing but love for you. Respect you guys spit on everything. people. That's for real. That's not cool. Do you like my jacket on? I do. I like everything about you. <laughs> But no, we'll in the future, it's not cool to spit on people. Which, you know, think what you want of Logan Paul. I actually occasionally listen to his impulsive podcast and I think he's genuinely grown up. He did a very, very, very stupid thing a few years ago. People can grow, people can change, people can better themselves. Let people better themselves. Okay, let's stop being all cynical all the time and think that no one can ever change. And they did something really stupid a few years ago and it defines them forever. I'm not talking about like murder or assault or anything, obviously. But my opinion is that Logan Paul has grown up. We're in the low gang on the Elise Yeezy Jam. We're not. <laughs> I did not just say that, I'm sorry. We don't accept or tolerate flat earthers on the Elise Yeezy channel. We are hollow earthers around here. But even if he hadn't have grown up, is spitting on someone really the best way to get your opinion across to them? Is, is that really the most mature thing you can do? Spit on someone? In some states, spitting on someone is considered assault. Is that really worth it? But what struck me when seeing the video when Logan gets spat on is how like chill and calm and maturely he responded to the person while she was being hmm, a bit bitchy, but she had just spat on him. So 
I was actually quite impressed with how maturely Logan responded to the entire situation. Because if someone fucking spat on me. And last but not least, a little bit of news about Boogie2988. Is that right? Yes. I got sent an article about Boogie2988. Hugely reveals Boogie2988 lied about swatting. I've done a video on this guy before, man, and just... He talks and acts like he's in an action film, you know? Just cringe, bro. Judging by his own Twitter feed, it reads like a constant stream of pity fishing and threats to leave social media and or commit suicide. There is no shortage of drama surrounded online personality Stephen J. Williams, better known as Boogie2988. But as documented in a huge DM leak on the Sam and Tolkien subreddit, the YouTuber now admits to making false allegations of swatting as part of a scheme to get back at his haters. Multiversal levels of intelligence here. Should I finally tell you guys the truth or should I keep milking this one? I was shocked to see they latched onto the swatting thing, Boogie2988. Eight, told the hater recipient of his flood of bizarre direct messages. The swatting allegation is not even much of an exaggeration because I got swatted like four times last year. He then goes on to claim it was all part of a disinformation scheme cooked up by friends at a PR firm and that it worked out brilliantly somehow. This article is funny man, the fucking shade. Boogie, what are you doing? Why? Why are you trying to work on disinformation schemes? Like what are you doing? Do you just... Do you enjoy the negative attention and negative feedback from your quote unquote haters? Ignore hate. Maybe take on board criticism. It's up to you. But ignore hate and haters. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you trying to make the hating or haters situation worse for yourself? I don't, I don't fucking understand. Ah! <laughs> One of my rats fell out the hammock. Wow, that noise I just did. I'm going to play it again a few times in the edit. Ah! 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 <laughs> Boogie confirmed the authenticity of the leak in a January 24th damage control video where he claims, among other things, that the manipulation and main lies he's guilty of are actually part of a counter-troll intelligence operation. <gasps> wow. Kicked up by anonymous friends of the FBI. Yes, it appears Boogie2988's bountiful lies are now exerting his mental capacity to the point that he has to recycle them. Onlookers are wondering how long it will be until this new claim is also retracted, given the YouTuber's reputation for backpedaling on almost every single opinion, even slightly iffy, claim he's ever held out. Here's the, here's the Twitter DM. It kind of played out better. You guys always accuse me of being manipulative, so I thought maybe I would finally give it a try and men at work. I should have been doing it all along, but it's just not my thing. But this was my friend's idea from a PR firm to show your guys a bunch of misinformation and see what you did with it. Stuff that's easily proven wrong. But the facts that you guys docked my address then poured through police records and also tried to make something said in private conversation all about yourselves just finally proves to the right people how insane the harassment I'm getting is. And again, I don't really care anymore. My career is over anyway. Well, with that attitude, it's gonna be. Come on, man, be positive. I don't even plan to talk about it publicly or prove how crazy you guys are because that gives you the attention you want. You guys can take this and spin it to where I did a felony or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It added up to a really fun week though and I'm grateful for you guys doing stuff like this for me. It serves to distract me from some of the other crappy things going on. This stuff used to make me so miserable back when I still had something to lose but now that's all pretty much gone. I can do just whatever I want. Some men just want to watch the world burn. I mean, even if the cops do arrest me, what does that impact? Oh, grow up. So, reading this DM chat, the person said, this wouldn't have happened if you just didn't lie, you're always lying. And Boogie said, I rarely lie, but yes, I lied a lot. <laughs> In that conversation, to try to trip you guys up and it worked wonderfully. Nothing worked, you got caught, and now you're pretending you did it on purpose. <laughs> Boogie, man, like, I ain't even trying to hate, bro. The professional level of this um, news show really went down the pan just then. Just sometimes log off the fucking internet, dude. You gotta look after number uno first, man. Come on. I'm new to this whole manipulation thing, but I'm gonna keep practicing. Talks like he's in a film. You're pathetic, man. Okay, go back and look at that conversation. Do you really think everything in it was true? You are part of a hate group that docks me, then went through police records, and I'm pathetic? Check yourself. No one doxed you. You accused someone of a federal crime, and people came to the defence of the person falsely accused. I'm not saying I'm not pathetic. I always have been. I'm broken all to hell. But what's your reason for being this way? Ah, oh, boogie. Therapy. Help. Get help. It's like Keemstar said. You are addicted to the cycle of haters. 
Briggy said he quite literally published my information on Reddit. He quite literally broke Reddit rules to do it. This person said, nope, that never happened. Find a screenshot, you can. Boogie said, it doesn't matter if it's publicly available. Doing that is against the Reddit rules. He should have done it. I have one screenshot, actually. One second. I can't find the DM of the person who sent it to me. And then this person said, that's what I thought. Oh, Boogie. This is an incredibly long DM conversation, so I'm not going to go through it anymore. And the top comment in this subreddit says that he's falsely accusing us of doxing. His address wasn't posted a single time in this sub. We're allowed to talk about public information such as dispatch logs as long as no personal information is posted, which it wasn't. And the only reason I had to reference those public logs was because you accused me of a federal crime and forced me to defend myself and clear my name. I'm currently looking through the posts and comments over the last couple of days to make sure I didn't miss anything and haven't found a single piece of personal information posted by anyone. I see. It was all part of Boogie's master plan. Have a meltdown, loose followers, ruin credibility, and make himself a fool to troll us. We've been outplayed by the master chess man himself. I hang my head in shame and prepare for the hereafter. Everyone I've just spoken about needs to grow up and get a bit of therapy. Even you, Anision, get some therapy, get some help. Not you, though, Logan Paul. You're doing all right. Low gang for life. That's all for this episode of Ali Babu. Do you like the name? I kind of hate it now, but we're sticking with it. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. I upload almost every day, working on it, and I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Bye.